Hey guys, I'm Andre, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to improve uh, search engine optimization of your Gatsby site. So let's take a look. This is a very simple Gatsby site based on HTML5 app.net. A web template connected to a headless CMS which provides a data for it. On index page there is a list of uh, blog posts um, under the items uh, variable and we return just a simple layout. There is one template here for the blog post. So we're going to be uh, adding some meta tags here. First of all, we're going to start at the index.js page. And an important first step is to install a plugin that's called Gatsby Plugin React Helmet. This plugin enables us to change whatever is in the uh, header of the HTML page for every single uh, page that is either generated or uh, we have it defined here in pages folder. So start with installing that if you don't have it yet. I already uh, have it in my site so I can start on index.js by simply typing helmet tag and including the meta tags in here. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to import helmet from React Helmet. So what kind of meta tags are we talking about? I've compiled a list of them, the essential ones, so I'm gonna just paste them, uh, paste them here. And they start with the standard meta tags, description and keywords. And then we go through the social sharing uh, open graph uh, meta tags, which is a title, type, description, image, locale and URL. This is the same as the canonical link that, that you see right here. This is really important for, for SEO, so make sure that it's always uh, always in your site. So let's start with actually filling these tags. Now I'm just gonna fill some of these meta tags with some dummy values so that you know you have an idea of what should be in, the, in here. Now you see that I'm hard coding the title uh, as well as keywords and description here. You can either hard code it inside uh, the page or you can have it defined sidewide inside the Gatsby config and get it here in this place via GraphQL query. If you define it in the Gatsby config uh, sidewide, then you have to adjust the GraphQL query that is uh, gathering data for this page for whatever you added inside the config. To find out uh, what kind of data we have available, it's good to open the Graph GraphQL Explorer. So you see here in the Graph GraphQL Explorer that I have a site item available and under site, there are site, met site metadata, including title, URL, keywords, and descriptions. So the these are all the fields that I uh, just defined in the Gatsby's config, and I can now use them on all pages. So when I define it using GraphQL, we can now take a look at the life site if those values are really in the final HTML. And you see that uh, all the meta tags are in there, meta name description, keywords, title, type, and so on. Everything is, uh, is in place. Now this is okay for the index page, but how can we um, adjust this to be also displayed on the detailed page uh, of those blog posts. So let's take a look at the template. Here um, in the HTML that is rendered, I'm just gonna copy 
uh, whatever you have here in the index page. And in order to have these data available, we also have to adjust the GraphQL query that is getting data for this template. Now we should have all the data available, but in some cases, like the description, keywords, image, and others, it might be beneficial to take data from the blog post. So we're gonna have to adjust some of these uh, some of these items. Uh, in case of my blog post items, let's take a look at what kind of uh, value could be a good fit for a description field. You see, I'm getting title, image URL, teaser, and image. Uh, in case this is an uh, inserted image into the headless CMS, that then the URL is gonna be here. But for description, I'm gonna take teaser. So we're looking at data, uh, content item blog post. So in this case, it's the short variable item. And we are looking for elements, teaser, and value. In case of keywords, we don't have keywords available here. So we can either leave the default keywords here, or we can try to extract some keywords from title using a specific, specific function. But right now, I'm just gonna leave the default keywords in place. Uh, the title will be the title of the blog post. And the canonical URL has to respect the URL slug under which the blog post is defined. So when we look at the live site, the blog post has the URL slug in a subfolder uh, blog. So the base URL is just a part of what we need to achieve here. And you see, we don't use the URL slug here, but we are using a code name instead of that. So we're fine with using system.codename value. And we were gonna, we're gonna duplicate the same value for both these items. So on the main page, we still have the default uh, titles, keywords, and other things. If we go into a specific blog post, you see that there is a reference error, helmet is not defined. That's my mistake because I forgot that I need to import helmet from React helmet in the template as well. So let's see if this actually solved the issue. I'm gonna refresh the page. And you see the page is now working. Let's take a look at the header. So we're looking at how to decide on the best technology uh, for your website. And the title is working well. The URL is also the right one for Andres blog slash blog slash the code name of the article. Now there is one thing uh, and that's about the title because the title is not changing currently. So let me fix that. The title should not be hard coded here, but it should also be mapped to item, elements, title, and value. So let's see if we get that. And you see it's already changed in the header, so we're good. Uh, another thing that we can also change on the template is the image. You see there is either image URL or image that is stored in the headless CMS with its URL as a value. So we can definitely include that in here, but this one will actually take a bit more work.
So you see in this case there is actually no image here. So if we take a look at some other item, let's take a look at this article for example. Hopefully this one will have an image. And uh, here we have the media property OG image with its uh, URL. So you see it's being filled by uh, each of the blog posts data. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel or find me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash underbus. And I'll see you next time.